Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with chapter 10 circles, exercise 10.6 on pages 186 to 187. This one is an optional exercise. We will take a look at the sixth question today. So we have a circle such that there is a parallelogram A, B, C, D. Three, vert uh, three vertices A, B and C of this parallelogram, they lie on this circle. Then you have this point D which is exterior to the circle and the line CD intersects the circle at point E. So what can you say? See, we've been given that A, B, C and E lie on the circumference of the circle. Therefore, A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now I need to prove that AD is equal to AE. So how will we prove this? First of all, if you notice, like I told you, A, B, C, D, uh, A, B, C, E is a cyclic quadrilateral, correct? Therefore, this angle, let's say x, is equal to, uh, this angle plus this angle, x plus y, is 180 degrees. Because the sum of pair of opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degrees. So, I'll say x plus y is 180 degrees. But this angle and this angle, that is angle B and angle D are equal because they are the opposite angles of a parallelogram. Now this angle is Y, therefore angle D will also be Y, right? Therefore, this angle plus this angle is 180 degrees. See, you have X plus Y is 180 degrees. But this angle plus this angle, let's call it Z, which angle, this angle out here. So let me just mark this. This angle is Z. But X plus Z is 180 de degrees through the linear pair axiom. So I am saying X plus Z is 180 degrees through the linear pair axiom. What can I say from these two? See X, you have X here and X here, 180 degrees here and 180 degrees here. So equals that are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. You have X equal, you have 180 degrees equal. Therefore, Y is equal to Z. So now, this angle Y out here is equal to this angle Z. These are a part of triangle AED. So in triangle AED, you have angle D and E equal to each other. Therefore, triangle AED is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, AD is going to be equal to AE. Simple. Let's go ahead and write the solution. Or let's go, and go ahead and write the proof. So I'll say proof quadrilateral A, B, C, E is a cyclic quadrilateral since points A, B, C and E lie on circumference, right? Therefore, which angle now? Angle A, E, C plus angle ABC is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because cyclic quadrant. So you have therefore AAC plus ABC is equal to 180 degrees. Let's mark this as 1. But angle ABC is equal to angle ADC. Why? Because they are opposite angles of a parallelogram. Right. So instead of ADC, I can write ADE because E lies on the uh, on the line segment CD. So angle ABC is equal to angle ADE, and I'll give my reason as DEC. D dash E dash C. Let's mark this as 2. Now from 1 and 2, what do you get? That AEC is equal to, uh, AEC plus ADE is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle AEC plus angle ADE is equal to 180 degrees. I'll say from 1 and 2. Why 180 degrees for AEC plus ADE? Because here you have ABE and here you have ABC and ABC. So instead of ABC over here, I'm going to substitute ADE in this. 
in equation number 1. So, I have AEC as it is and instead of ABC, I am taking ADE. Let us mark this as 3, right? But angle A E A E D just one moment A E C plus A D E. But angle A E D plus angle A E C is equal to 180 degrees through the linear pair axiom. Let us mark this as 4. So over here from 3 and 4, what do I get? I have A E C over here, I have A E C over here. I have 180 degrees and 180 degrees. So, what can you say that equals that are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. Therefore, what do I get? That ADE is equal to angle AED. And I will say from 3 and 4. But these are the base angles for triangle ADE. So, or rather we can say now we will mark this as 5 in triangle ADE angle ADE is equal to angle AED from 4 and 5 correct so now the side opposite ADE that is the side opposite angle Y is AE is equal to the side opposite angle AED. So, side opposite angle AED is side AD. So, AE is equal to AD, hence proved. So, this is what we needed to prove. It's not AE is equal to ED because they are adjacent. I need to prove that AE is equal to AD. So, please take a look at the solution of this question. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.